Alright y'all, so this video is going to be about Fernel Trammell, who is a 60 year old black man who was a Trump supporter, a also a black life supporter, now he was well known throughout the community, um, and he also owned a small business and he was shot and killed in front of his own store. Um, now Bernardo Trauma was six. He, he was shot and killed Thursday afternoon in front of a storefront with signs in the window supporting Trump's free election. Um, a makeshift memorial grew inside at the spot where he was killed. The guy was just for love, Dick Nelson said, according to the station. Um, his last known conversation was with a blogger on the morning of the shooting. Uh, the chat with Adversary, a girl, took place as Trammell had a sign that said Wisconsin vote Donald Trump 2020, a station reported. He's just a community figure, a girl told the station. I respected him just because he had a position. He's got his opinion on why he feels that way, and I'm not going to knock him. Uh, the Milwaukee Journal Senate quoted Reggie Moore, director of Milwaukee's Office of Violence Prevention, as saying that he recently interviewed a dis in a dispute between Trammell and a young man. Moore thought the incident was related to a Trump sign that Trammell was carrying the paper reported. He's a black elder who didn't deserve to die that way that he did, Moore said. Uh, Milwaukee police had, don't have a lot of information or a motive. Uh, that didn't stop Andrew Hitt, chairman of the Republican Party of Wisconsin, from raising the possibility that it shouldn't be politically motivated. He called on federal prosecutors in Milwaukee to investigate in a statement. No Americans severe for their personal safety because of where they live or their political affiliation. Now, um, you know, it's pretty clear uh, why he was shot and killed. You know, it's pointing that he was a Trump supporter. That's what it's pointing to, that he was a Trump supporter. Okay, um, if it comes out that he was killed another way, I would honestly be shocked, surprised. But I honestly think that he was killed because he was a 60-year-old black man who supported Donald Trump and who was going to vote for Donald Trump. Simple as that. Now, um, I do hope that they catch this person. If they release information on a suspect, what he may look like, or anything like that, um, I would definitely bring that to y'all. But um, definitely keep this man and his family in your thoughts and prayers. As always, thank y'all for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and as always, y'all stay safe out there.